into mother's pain turned into advocacy. Now you may have seen these billboards across the city and the state, and now this local nonprofit is trying to raise awareness for fentanyl dangers in a different way. If you told me two years ago that my son would be dead from drugs, I would say, I'm sorry, you don't know my son. Angela Parkinson lost her 24 year old son, Nick Rucker, in April 2021. She says that Rucker thought that he was taking a half a prescription of pain medicine Percocet, but it was actually a fatal dose of fentanyl. Now through the nonprofit, the Never Alone Nick Rucker Foundation, she and other parents are hoping to educate people about the dangers of fentanyl. Our main message is prevention and education. And we what we want people to know what they don't know can kill them. Their latest call to action is a new specialty license plate, which will be available to purchase in March. It was really a group effort um, with all of the members of our nonprofit to come up with something that was visible that everybody could see that could really support what we're trying to do, which is the awareness we want people to know. And, and in a way, we also want to honor those who've already been taken. The cost of the tag cost $44, 10 of which will go directly to the nonprofit. What the license plate would mean would is that all of the money that we would receive would go towards education through the billboards or um, just educating the community. On a mission to educate others about how deadly fentanyl can be, Parkinson says she now knows her advocacy is not going unnoticed. I will tell you when Senator Higdon made that press release about our license plate, it was the first time I ever really felt like they finally hear us. In Louisville, DeAndrea Turner, WLKY News.